timeline in description. Let's run the test and talk. ISO 1600. Now keep in mind that I have adjusted the exposure in Adobe Premiere so that all the clips match in brightness. Now we jump to 6400 ISO and A6000 that's too much for it of course. 12800 ISO, A6000 is struggling a lot but we do see how much sharper the full frame a7 III is than the smaller sensor uh, APS-C cameras. 25600 ISO, too much for a6000 to take. Full frame a7 III sharp as usual but something interesting happens with a6400 and it seems that it's starting to use some kind of softening technique. You can see it's almost a bit blurry compared to a6300 which is uh, surprising but let's keep moving at 51200 iso a6000 is gone it simply does not have such an option full frame a7 III is the sharpest and cleanest of course a6400 is still doing the same thing and seems to have more noise than a6300 interesting 102400 ISO, A6300 does not have such an option in manual mode, but A6400 is able to push it and I would assume that's because of this new denoising smoothing technique and again of course full frame A7 III is cleaner. What do you think? Interesting test, full frame is of course performing very well. Uh, smaller sensor APS-C bodies, especially the A6000, that's the oldest one and it shows. A6400, I wasn't expecting that and I made sure that every camera has as many settings selected in the same way as possible. However, with so many of them, it's possible I may have made a mistake, so I went back I took the A6300, A6400, pin them against each other once again just to double check that the test was done correctly. I mean there's still room for uh, an error here and there. But it seems to be the case that A6400 is using some kind of new uh, denoising technique or something like that. And maybe that's how they are able to push that ISO higher which is so high, I'm, I'm not sure what that is for. But interesting finding, uh, let's take a look at the second test. 6400 ISO looks very similar, let's move to the next. 12800 ISO again looks similar, so this means that I've been doing the test correctly. 25,600, we can see the differences again, A6400 looks softer. The second test kind of sort of confirms that I've been doing uh, everything correctly, or at least uh, there's a good chance that everything is done as correctly as it could be. There's still uh, room for error, of course, this is not a lab experiment. Now, as I was finishing the video, Something happened. I was uh, looking at the A6600 in the future, but it's already available for sale and it actually went on discount, like a $200 discount. A6600 has arrived and I decided to include it in the test, which is great, even though it's not gonna make uh, any difference or anything like that because it's pretty much the same as a6400 but at least we will see that it is and i will put it in the title so that if anyone is looking you'll be able to find it let's check it out as expected iso 6400 both cameras look the same iso 10000 of course is going to be still the same story because all three cameras 6100 64 6600 all use same sensor and 16000 iso again you'll simply repeat it's all the same sensor all right the test is over i'm sure that this will help some of you if you saw me make any mistakes uh, or 
have any advice or anything type it in the comments I'll check it out uh, a6100 and a6500 are not here because I simply don't have the cameras but a6500 would have pretty much the same results as a6300 and a6100 would be the same as a64 and a6600 uh, they're the same sensors thank you for watching thumbs up if you found it useful see you in the next one